Hey guys, Trouble here, back with the final part of Sonic CD. <laughs> uh, decided to do all my recordings in one today, just so I had the chance, uh, while no one was distracting me, walking in my room, etc. Uh, one thing I noticed, it's a lot easier listening to music and recording uh, than, uh, you know, hearing yourself, which is, uh, you know, it's very annoying and uh, kind of cringy when you hear yourself, but uh, yeah. But we are a metallic madness zone. A really cool stage, uh, probably my second favorite in the game. Uh, it's not very, um, like, speed heavy, very platform heavy, but it's so good. It's so cool, the aesthetic is awesome. It's like the best factory aesthetic in a game I've ever experienced, if you ask me. But, uh, looks like we're going to the past already. I <laughs> have a common trend of going to the past really early. Without further ado, the past. Deepest apologies for being the cringy human being I am and uh, freaking out before, you know, uh, we go to the past. I'm sorry, I just want to let you guys listen to the music. <laughs> I don't want to, like, speak over it, and so I kind of just, like, freak out. But uh, yeah, this is Metallic Madness Past. Uh, you'll notice in Mania, this is very similar to it. Uh, you know, obviously a different color palette, but you can see in the background the factory is being built. Uh, yeah, also you'll notice that's where the monitor is supposed to be. Supposed to be because I've collected all the time stones and so they're automatically destroyed. Once you collect all the time stones, you don't have to search for the monitors anymore. So I will not be looking for the monitors, and uh, yeah. And it's great. <laughs> Takes a load off my back considering that looking for the monitors is such a pain in the ass. Um, the, this stage is really hazardous. It's not as hazardous as Scrap Brain, but it's very hazardous nonetheless. I think if you're going to go into the stage, go into the stage with a, a sort of open mindset, I guess. Don't expect speed and glory. Just, you know, be, be, be ready to slow down here and there because you're going to need to slow down a lot. But you do it right and it's actually a joyride. It's actually an absolute blast. So yeah. Uh, the problem with Metallic Madness isn't necessary. Oh, gold ring already. Isn't necessary, which is quite like contradictory to what I'm about to say. Uh, reaching the goal in Metallic Madness is the real challenge, especially Act Two, because there's so many different tubes and uh, paths. And uh, yeah, these two stages, Metallic Madness and Stutter Speedway, were brought back in Sonic Mania. Uh, not surprising, because they're arguably the best stages in the game. Uh, I wish Palm Tree Panic was represented well instead of a uh, Green Hill, though. But a uh, topic for another time. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself material for other videos. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Again, this act is very tube heavy. Uh, there's also these platforms that uh, push you up. They're in Mania too. I need to stop talking about Mania. <laughs> this is uh, this is this is Sonic CD. We need to focus on Sonic CD. Uh, uh, yep, crushed by a block. <laughs> a lot of crushing blocks in this stage too, unfortunately. But uh. You know, not too big of a, a biggie. Not too big of a biggie. Sounds weird. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So this is Metallic Madness. I really, really do like this stage. Uh, the, uh, the tube gimmick was actually used in this... Shut up about Sonic Mania! <laughs> Jeez! Didn't say anything. I'll wait till Sonic Mania comes. But, uh, these push you up, uh, and that way you can get, uh, the shield. <laughs> uh, it's actually really interesting because after Sonic CD, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, um... They never brought the shield back. It was always left in those three games. It was never brought back. In Sonic 3, see, in Sonic 3, they introduced the elemental shields instead, which were, you know, arguably the the uh, the better alternative to the shield, as a uh, depending on what shield you have would depend on what effect you had on the environment. So, like for example, you could uh, be able to walk on lava roads if you had a uh, the fire shield, which I think is really cool. You'll notice in the background, it's a very weird, mechanical, kind of fucked up aesthetic. Like, it, it seems like something diabolical is going on, and that's really cool. Like, a lot of test tube valve things, they look really cool. I like it. Oh, well, there's these contraptions in the stage. It's really just the death hazard stage, and I love it. It's really well done. Those little rolly things, uh... 
I believe they're armadillos. <laughs> armadillo based enemies. Uh, it's a shame because we never see Mighty again after uh, Knuckles Chaotix, which is a game released for the 32X. Um, it's a really weird, obscure game. It's not bad, but it's not exactly great. Um, I'd love to do a playthrough of it sometime, but uh, maybe somewhere in the, in the deep future. These b enemies are a piece of shit. Uh, they explode, and sometimes they explode little bomb enemies. Uh, I think, actually, I think that's in Mania. Also, there's a shrink ray thing that uh, you need to progress through the level. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's a, it's a little strange of a gimmick if you ask me. I feel it could have been handled a lot better. It's done. It's done a lot better in Mania. Uh, there's some tricky jumps you have to get uh, in uh, Mini Mode. Uh, some really confusing sections that just take you back and forth and back and forth. And uh, yeah. My main issue with Metallic Madness is the placement of spikes and enemies. It seems really dickish at times, but uh, maybe I'm just a pussy. <laughs> uh. A lot of rings in this stage too. It certainly hands you a fair amount of rings. So you don't feel like you're being robbed of a cheap deal, unless you're being crushed by the platforms. But you don't feel like you're being robbed, a ch uh, you know, you're being cheated with a death and shit, so, uh, yeah. One thing you should differentiate in the Sonic franchise, the classic franchise at least, is the red springs always take you higher than the yellow springs. I've already stated this, I think, but uh, the yellow springs don't take you as high as the red springs. The red springs always take you higher, which I think is actually really neat. I fell down here because I'm, uh, I'm bad at video games. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Metallic Madness is such a cool concept and stage. I just, I just love it. I just love its aesthetic. I feel it's really unique and and creative and cool. It's like Scrap Brain, but ten times better. Like Eggman's definitive base, if you ask me, his definitive headquarters. Not this Death Egg. Metallic Madness Zone is his definitive uh, hiding place. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Not to mention it has a great soundtrack. Like. The entirety of Metallic Madness has an awesome OST, from the past to the good future to the bad future. Yeah, there's a good future for Metallic Madness. I don't know how you can have a good future for a bad future stage. <laughs> but uh, but I digress. Also, I don't know how the rings got on the floor then. It's kind of strange. But uh, this game is pretty obscure and strange, so yeah. I keep saying yeah a lot. <laughs> but uh, this is really cool. They're like crumbling platforms that fall onto you and you have to kind of like uh make your way through them to make sure you don't get hit and uh that's act two metallic madness is definitely the longest zone in the game but uh, the boss is definitely cool uh it's a uh... well you'll see when we get there <laughs> i don't know if i struggle or not with act three but uh regardless anyway the good future without further ado Again, a stage I find really cool. I love this OST so much. Uh, Metallic Madness Good Future is definitely in my top 10. Uh, you'll notice these uh, the, the bumpers from Collision Chaos are in here as well. And uh, this is a gimmick we didn't actually run into in uh, Act 1 and 2 because it's an Act 3 exclusive, which is weird because it's relevant for about 0.1 seconds. But uh, now we start a, uh, a mini boss, if you will, which is uh, to uh, start a speedway box that you have to kill. <laughs> it's like a mini boss before it was a thing. I think they kind of took inspiration from this boss. But what's this? I believe it's time for the final boss. I don't exactly know what this boss is, uh, basically it spins its rotors around and it's really not that hard. Every time it leaves an opening, so like, uh, uh, I think here it, I can? No, I have to wait. But, uh, this boss is weird. It's like a, um, a laundry with spikes. A laundry machine with spikes. But, uh, it's the final boss of Sonic CD. It's 
Again, it's really not a challenge. Eggman will always leave an opening. You just have to dodge, dodge the square thingamajigs. He starts pogoing here. Again, the bosses in CD are an absolute joke. They are too simple. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there we go. That's the boss. And uh, time to go back to uh, to, to Mobius. And uh, what, what, Amy Rose? What, what is she, what's she doing here? No, 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 no. Stay, stay. Uh, what? Uh,
Sonic 